Pat Dignan from Image Arts. Recently, Capital University Law School updated their logo, and um, when they asked IDC Design to do some printed uh, brochures, they needed to replace the old sign, that old sign, um, with a new one that reflected the new logo treatment. So they asked me to, to do that, and I, um, I did it by building the sign in 3D and rendering it to match the existing photo. And I'll show you exactly how I did that. Get rid of Photoshop and jump into Modo here. Um, this, is, this is a model, this is the camera view. What I've done uh, here is bring in the uh, picture in the background of my 3D program in the camera so that no matter how I move the camera, the picture is always in the background. And I built, um, I built the sign in 3D. Here we can zoom in on it so you can see uh, the parts and pieces. The, the letters, the Capital University letters, law school, and this, and this um, box here were part of the existing or the new logo. Um, I added this box uh, to give the Capital University letters something to, to hang on to and to give it some structure to hold the sign up. Um, and then I also um, lit the scene, oops, I lit the scene using this, uh, it doesn't look like much here, they, this indicates the light source and you'll notice that down here physical sun is turned on. In this 3D program you can set the um, a, a light to act as the sun and it takes on characteristics of the sun. You can set the time of day and the day that it was shot and um, and it will and you tell it where on earth you are and it will put the sun angle um, at the exact same spot it was at that time. It's pretty cool. Um, so I used that to uh, to light the scene. I also put in a little reflector card here, right uh, right here, with just um, uh, a blurry s section of some of the trees and things that were in the background to give this um, something to reflect um, in into the camera, so that it gave it a little bit of a color cast um, as it would have in that real environment. So then, um, so then I rendered out the picture. Um, like this uh, uh, from this angle and um, I rendered it with the full resolution of the original picture so then I brought this back into Photoshop here um, we'll do this oops turn that off um, we'll disable the layer mask so you can see that was the whole sign before I brought it in it looked when I brought it in it looked like that and a little bit too much uh, reflection from that reflecting card on it so I um, so I took care of most of that with some with some adjustments and added a little bit of noise to match the photograph um, softened it up a little bit uh, did a little blur on it obviously created a layer mask to mask out uh, the, the um, bushes and this, uh, this woman's arm and bag so that it, it looks behind looks like it's behind them and uh, then that's uh, that's what we got. So we'll zoom in here, and you can see how it looks uh, looks pretty real in the background there. And um, instead of waiting months or however long it would take for them to actually build a new sign, um, we just made one in the computer and dropped it in, and we're all set to go. Thanks for checking this out. Bye bye.